Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. We are at day nine of our advent opening and I am super excited. Christmas is getting closer. Yay! All right, so <laughs> you can see the stack is also getting smaller, which is great. It's not as precarious now and people can walk out here, here without going, oh, is it going to fall? Is it going to fall? All right, so let's grab a book off the pile and see what we're opening today. Well, good morning and good evening, everybody, and a welcome back to the channel. As I said, we are here for book nine. Super excited. Um, I cannot wait to find out. Yesterday's book was actually turned out to be okay. At first, I was a little bit disappointed, but then by the time we learned about the book, I was pretty okay with that book. All right, I've got my naughty and nice uh, T-shirt on today, and I'm always naughty. No, I'm not. <laughs> I think I am, but I'm not. <laughs> not really. <laughs> anyway, I know that Santa's coming to me this year and I bought myself the book box. So either way, even if Santa doesn't come to me this year, I've still got the book box and I've, I've got a present to open up every day and I'm just loving it. If you haven't yet been over to my craft channel, head over to my craft channel because um, I'm doing Advent's opening up over there as well. A lovely friend sent me a Advent box to open up and I've also got an ornament one and a sewing one and we're also doing a movie one as well. All right, so let's open up number nine and find out what book I got today. Okay, so the book that we have uh, opened up today is Three Fifths and it's by John Furcher and it is published by Bushkin Vertigo and I believe, is that Norwegian? Like is that from that region? I can't remember. Um, I think I've actually opened it, I think the ice was from that as well, from that publisher as well. All right, so let's find out when it was, I love the cover too, it's very plain, simple, Nice size book too. Um, all right, so this was published, um, first published by Polis in North America in 2019 um, and then the revised edition by Pushkin Press was published in 2020. Okay, so um, let me find out what this is about. Oh, it was nominated for the Edgar Award for Best First Novel, so it must be a debut novel by John v Vechner. I think that's how you pronounce his name, from, from, John Vecher. Sorry, there's no N in that, Vecher. Hmm, obviously my reading skills are great. <laughs> Let's face it, We all, if you've been here for a while, you know that I cannot pronounce people's last names. I butchered the hell out of them. And you think with a last name, my last name, I go by Nicole Reed online, but my last name is Bahaja, okay? And that is not an easy, when you look at that, that is not an easy, grab a pen and write this down, B-U-H-A-G-I-A-R, okay? Now, without, you've already heard how it's pronounced. If you've seen that for the first time, would you be able to pronounce it? Probably not. <laughs> okay, that's the challenge for today. And now I will ask you, and if, I'll probably ask you again in a couple of days, how do you pronounce my last name? And I bet you won't be able to pronounce it by looking at it. Okay, so that's why I go by read online because that is so much easier. <laughs> okay, so yes, I do have an ethnic background and um, my father is Egyptian. My um, grandfather was Maltese on my dad's side. My mum is Spanish, Portuguese. English, Scottish, <laughs> Heinz variety. <laughs> okay, a little bit of background about me. Um, yes, so I also have um, a lot of other nationalities in my family as well. We have like that have married into the family as well. So um, yes, very, very multi <laughs> multicultural family I have. So yeah, <laughs> so father from Egypt, mother, um, so uh, my father, my father was actually born in Egypt and he came here in 1955. So we, his children are first generation born Australian. And so my grandfather, my dad's father, he was Maltese and, his, and my dad's mother was Egyptian. My father was born in Alexandra uh, um, in 
Egypt and um, my grandfather on my dad's side spoke nine different language uh, languages and the common language that they spoke at home was Italian with a mix of other languages as well but they mostly spoke Italian. My auntie who was I think two when she came to this country she can't she can speak some Italian um, but she can't speak a lot of it because when they came here they wanted the children to speak English and um, so they tried to only speak English at home but when family comes and stuff like that they'd speak a lot of um, a, a lot of Italian and um, we do have a lot of Italians in our family as well that have married in um, so yeah and then on my mother's side my mum's mum her mother it was Spanish Portuguese my um, great grandfather he was English and my uh, English and Scottish no sorry he was Scottish and then my grandfather he is English and Scottish and my so my grandmother was uh, Spanish Portuguese Scottish <laughs> it's full on but the, the thing is I can't I can't <laughs> Basically, I can't read um, people's last names because I get tripped up on them and all the rest of it. But anyway, I digress. We're here to talk about this book, which is book number nine. <laughs> yeah. So this was nominated for the Edgar Award for Best First Novel. Um, a couple of the things that are written on the back. Incredibly timely narrative that packs a violent, heartbreaking punch. Virtue is now on the map. Keep an eye out for this um, author. Any writer who comes out of the gate in this strong is bound for this strong is bound to um for great things um this is a crime story that masterfully beautifully ingeniously reveals v reveals the duplicity of racial racial psychology and the far-reaching violence it spawns on the american landscape um sounds like it's a pretty heavy book just uh reading some of the, the reading that one so um it's set in 1995 where in pittsburgh and 22 year old bobby um is a biracial man passing for white bobby has hidden his identity from everyone even his best friend uh, best friend and fellow comic book geek aaron who has just returned from prison a newly rattle oh really radicalized words white supremacists during a night of their reunion bobby witnesses aaron mercifully assaulting a young black man with a brick in the wake of this horrifying act of violence bobby must conceal his unwitting must conceal his unwitting involvement in the crime from the police as well as battle his own personal demons Three fifths is a harrowing story about racism and brut brutality that is more urgent now than ever. Oh, this is going to be a heavy read, I reckon. Um, just going by um, what's written on the back and, you know, just even some of the things that are written in the front, this is, uh, yeah. it's going to be heavy. A sad, swift tale bearing uh, rueful observations about colour class as urgent now as 24 years ago. So, yeah, and it's set in 1995. So it's going to be a heavy read. There's going to be some jarring content in this one. This one's going to, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know whether I'm looking forward to reading this. Hmm, interesting. Mm, what do you think? Leave me a comment down below. Have you read this before? Have you seen this novel or heard anything about it? Uh, I, I do love a, de a debut novel, like, and, you know, that is appealing to me a lot, um, but the content is pretty heavy. So um, interesting. I'm I'm intrigued by this book to read it. So I might try and get it over and done with early on in the year. Um, I think it's going to um, have a lot of discussion about this book, I think. I don't know. Hmm. We'll see. See if I get to it or not. Because uh, as I said, I've got a stack happening over there. They're all sitting there patiently waiting for me to get to um, Christmas Eve and the last book and then I can start putting them onto my um, TBR. And I think I'm going to start with my least favourite to my mm, most anticipated out of the stack. All right. So I'm just going to pop that down there. And, um, yeah. All right, so that is the end of this video for today. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you've read this book before, if you've heard of the author. Um, 
And if you've read it, was it good? Did you enjoy it? Or what, and like I'm thinking, it's pretty heavy. Um, that, but hopefully you're getting some of those pages turned today. And I, as always, will see you in the next video. Bye for now.